Hello, I'm Dr Karen Horridge. I'm a disability paediatrician working in Sunderland in the northeast of England. I had the privilege of leading this work that was funded by the European Academy of Childhood Disability in collaboration with the University of Sunderland. We looked at austerity and families with disabled children across Europe. The background to this work was reflection on the response to the 2008 financial crisis across Europe, which in some countries included implementing austerity measures that led to uh, reductions in welfare benefits and cuts in public services. So to understand what was going on in the different countries, we first of all used the network of national coordinators of the European Academy of Childhood Disability and sent out a survey in October 2016, to which we received 28 responses. In the survey, we asked about how services for disabled children were organised in each country and any impact of austerity measures. And we also asked for contact details of professional and parent organisations to which we could send out the subsequent electronic surveys. So we sent out two links to electronic surveys, one specifically for parent carers and families and one for professionals. We translated these using Google Translate initially and then got the translations checked by uh, colleagues uh, across Europe into 25 different languages and the surveys were open for three months altogether. In all, we received 958 responses from professionals across 32 countries and from 731 families across 23 countries. The countries highlighted in blue on the map are those who participated overall. Of family respondents, we asked about the dependency level of their disabled child and young person. 50% were completely dependent on others for all of their care. Families came from a range of geographical settings, split across big cities, towns, villages and some from rural communities. In the family survey, we integrated the UNICEF markers of severe poverty in rich and middle income countries. And almost half of respondents met the criteria for severe poverty in rich and middle income countries, which we were quite surprised about given that this was an electronic survey. We asked about direct impact on families of cuts in services and or welfare support from the perspective of professionals. And a significant impact was reported, the more so in those countries that had implemented austerity measures. Professionals also reported worse working conditions in the last year, particularly in countries that had implemented austerity measures. Families over the last three years reported increased waiting times for services in 39% of cases, access to therapists being more difficult in over 50% of cases, and access to welfare support and benefits being more difficult in 57% of cases. Most concerning of all was the report from families across the board of worse quality of services in the last three years in 91% of cases. So in summary, professionals and families across Europe reported decline in service access and quality regardless of austerity with cuts, less time per child and increased waiting times. We found that austerity cuts have impacted negatively on families with disabled children across Europe in those countries where these have been implemented. Please do read our paper and please do join with colleagues in your own country in reflecting on what your response needs to be to lobby policy makers and decision makers to reflect on the findings of this study. Thank you for listening.